of the biggest things I've learned with implanting is implanting has to work with your feeding program. I'm not saying you can take what I implant with today to your farm and make it work. Everybody has to find that right niche that, that works for them. The USDA, the FDA has to come in and say this product works, does what it's supposed to do. So if four implants could ever even be used in cattle, FDA had to come in and say they actually work, they make a difference, they improve beef cattle production. In cattle that are not implanted as opposed to cattle that are implanted, it's going to take you at least 30 days longer to get those cattle finished. There's a definite economic advantage, you know, not only in feed efficiency, in uh, less days on feed. Yeah, so when we think about technologies like growth implants, those are technologies that for every unit of feed that cattle consume, it's going to increase the amount of lean muscle mass that those animals gain. So that's really important from a sustainability perspective, from an environmental sustainability perspective, because that means that it doesn't take as many resources to produce beef. So the things that you do as a producer to become more efficient have a lot of environmental benefits as well. Every living creature today has hormones in it, it has estrogen. When you're talking about an implanted animal versus a, a non-implanted animal, uh, the nanograms of extra estrogen is so small. So when you look at the research and compare it to other uh, food products, uh, serving a beef from an implanted steer is, is as safe as anything. So for example, there's been an analysis done looking at what would happen if the United States got rid of all of its growth implants. It would take about 10% more feed to produce beef in the United States. And so again, it's not about being afraid of these different products, but just recognizing that beef has a tremendous story to tell. Uh, we're able to take forage resources that we can't use and convert it into a high quality product. And so we just need to emphasize the positive story that is beef. brother and I have been farming since 83 uh, and we've been implanting cattle ever since we've been farming and our dad implanted cattle before that. The reason we implant is for uh, gains, feed efficiency and uh, it's a safe, safe product to use. 
There is no withdrawal on any implants. There's no withdrawal to consumers. Just listening to uh, extension agents and, and the research is there to back that implanting is safe. To me, that's saying it right there, that there's not enough of what you're putting in there that's gonna get into the meat. The footprint that we're leaving today is, is, is a smaller one because we're not consuming as much feed to get the cattle finished at an at a earlier stage.